family is getting the vacation of their dreams, and it's all thanks to a daycare in Lawrenceburg. Yesterday, we told you about 13 year old Haley Peelman and her fight against cancer. This morning, we have her mom, Tara, with us via Zoom. Tara, we have loved hearing about this story so much, and we'd also love to hear about Haley's story as well. She is fighting leukemia for the third time. Yes. Can you tell us just a little bit about kind of what that has been like for your all's family? I mean, that journey and now for the third time. So Haley was first diagnosed when she was seven in 2015. Um, she has a remission within the 30 days, but still has to continue doing chemotherapy for two years. But she was three and a half years from being cancer free and then a year off of all chemo. And she had went in for regular routine blood work we had relapsed in 2019. And then we started treatment all over. It was a little more intense. She still fought through. Um, and then she was a month from completing all of her chemotherapy. And then we found out again that she had relapsed for the second time. So we will be fighting it for the third time. She actually goes in on the 21st of this month to start her T cell transplant that we are doing this time around. Oh he my has goodness. been a um, girl. I mean, he's pushing and fighting. Right. That's well, what she does. I mean, first of all, our hearts go out to your all's family and her fight in this journey. But we also know that it has been her dream to go to Hawaii to swim with the dolphins. And that is where Sunshine Corner Daycare and Preschool really comes into this story. Haley's an alum. I know you work there as well. Tell us, how did all of this come to be? So Haley actually attended Sunshine Corner Daycare as well when she was two. And then, um, then when she we had through, we was going through make a wish and they was unable to continue her wish due to the relapse the first time. So we postponed it, we were going to do it again and then COVID hit. So that also put it down that we cannot go. Um, they have also told us they're not allowing for travel through airfare, so you can only go by car, and of course you can't go to Hawaii by car. So she was pretty upset, and then once I had told my boss about everything, Carla, she put in her mind that Haley will be going, and the daycare was going to do a, fun, a lot of fundraising and put Haley to be able to go to Hawaii, make her dream come true. That is incredible. I mean, I can only imagine what your reaction is to that, to see this community come around and support you and Haley's reaction. What does that mean to you all? Um, it means a lot to us to show us what the community can actually do to make somebody that has been battling a illness for six years off and on and make somebody a little girl's dream come true. It is so beautiful and we love to see the community really rallying around people, uh, raising well over $20,000. Uh, I guess the next question is, when is this trip going to be? Have you all made plans for this? Yes, so we will be leaving in September 27th for our eight day trip. That is incredible. What is Haley? I, I'm sure swimming with the dolphins. Is there anything else that you all are just looking forward to most about this trip? Um, there's a lot of things that Haley wants to do. She loves dolphins. She wants to do like submarine tours and just anything to do with the dolphins while we're down there. But her main thing is she wants to get in the water to actually touch and feel and swim with them. That is going to be the experience of a lifetime, I'm sure, for your entire family, for Haley. We want to wish you all the best trip. I hope you all have the best of fun and also want to wish Haley the best with treatment. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Tara. Thank you.